I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this one, I'm going to talk about Mealy state machines and Moore state machines, and how you can tell them apart, and how you define them in a state table and in a state diagram. All right, so what is a Mealy uh, and Moore state machine? A Mealy state machine is a state machine whose output is based on its input and its current state. A Moore state machine is a state machine that is based solely on its uh, current state. And so the way this looks as a circuit is, let's say I have some flip-flops of an unknown type here. And this is my Q and Q bar. And they go into some nebulous combinational circuit here. And out from that I have my output. This is a Moore state machine because it only derives its output from the current state. Now if I did something like this where I have an input and instead of going through some combinational logic and then everything coming out there, if I have my combinational logic going in and it goes here and into this combinational logic, this is a Mealy state machine because it's deriving its output from the current state and the input. Okay, so let's look at how this looks in a state machine. Or <laughs> in a state um, table. So let's say I have a uh, current state and I have my input Now there's two ways to draw this. Uh, this is going to be a Mealy state machine. So one way of doing it, let's say I have four states. One way of doing this is I can say it looks like this. Okay, so what I'm saying here is that here's my current state. Here's the next state if the input is zero when the clock pulse comes along. And here is my output if I'm in state A and input is zero. It'll be one. Uh, so if I'm in state B, my input is zero, uh, then my output is zero. When the next clock pulse comes along, it'll put me in the state B. Uh, maybe that's not as clear. Let's work on here. So C, if my input is 1 and I'm in state C, my output will be 0. If I uh, have an input of 1 and my state is C, on the next clock pulse, my state will be D, in which case uh, after that, my output will still be zero. Uh, a little bit confusing, but uh, not that bad. Another way of drawing this, there's two common ways. Is drawing your output in a separate columns. So I might have zero, zero, one, one. So this is saying if my current state is A and my input is 0, then my output will be 0. And if my input is 0, the next state will be A. If my current state is B and my input is 1, when the clock pulse comes, I'll be going into state C. But until then, my output will be 1. Uh, so 
So there you go. That's Mealy state uh, diagrams, state tables. Now let's look at a uh, Mealy state diagram. This is what I actually showed on my other uh, videos where I was showing state diagrams. And let's say we just have two states to keep it nice and simple. We have state A and state B. If I have We'll do it like this. Okay, so uh, when you're looking at a state diagram, you have to indicate your input. So if I, uh, at the next clock pulse, if I'm in state A and I have a 1 on the input, it'll go to state B. If I'm having outputs, then I need to list that like this. So if I'm in state A and my input is 1, then my output will be 1 as well. If I'm in state A and my input is 0, then my output will be 0. Uh, if I'm in state A and my input is 1, and then the clock pulse comes, then it takes me to B. All right, and so I will make this 0 slash 1 and 1 slash 0. So if I'm in state A, my input is 1, my output will remain 1 until that clock pulse comes, at which case I jump over to B. If my input is 1 when I'm in B, then my output will be 0. Uh, until the clock pulse comes and then I jump back over to A. Alright, let's take a look at a Moore state table. Moore is simpler, so if this is my state, Okay, we'll just do the same four states again. The next state might be A, C, D, A, B, B, C, D. So, if next clock pulse comes along and I have an input of zero and I'm in A, I'm going to go to A. If uh, I have an input of zero and I have, I'm in state C, then my next state will be D. Now a Moore state machine, remember its output is not uh, related to the input. It's only related to the current state. And so you can just list it like that in the state table. Finally, I'll just show you a state diagram for a Moore machine. We'll just do a simple two state again. And in this case, I have my current state and the output listed. And I still list my input next to the transition arrows, uh, but the output only changes based on the current state. So this is what a more state diagram looks like. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, take a look at my other videos on my YouTube channel or take a look at what I have at uh, robotbrigade.com.